So today we will start with new point that is what is meant by operator. There are different types of operators: unary operator, binary operator, and ternary operator. Clear? So in that unary operator means which performs operation on only single operand. Then it is called as unary operator. If operator performs operation on two operands. Then it is called as binary operator, and third one is the ternary or tertiary operator that performs operation on three operands. Clear? So here the program is implement the C program to find the largest number between two using ternary or tertiary operator. So what is the notation for that? So ternary or tertiary operator is represented by question mark and colon. This is the operator notation question mark and colon okay and this is the operator that is called as ternary operator which performs operation on three different operands so what is the problem we have to find largest number between two so first we have to take two numbers from the user <coughs> using printf and scanf statement after that using this ternary operator we have to find which one is the largest between these two numbers so first start with including the header file so hash include first header file is stdir.h and second header file we have to include that is conio. we know that printf and scanf functions definitions are present in the stdir.h header file as well as kch and clear screen functions definitions are present in conio.h header file next program starts from main function so right void main curly bracket body of the main function so here what we want we want to take two numbers from the user so first statement is printf before that what is the output how output looks like on the screen that is This is your console. That is output screen. That is also called as text mode <coughs> window. Here, first message is enter two numbers. This is first message on the console. After that, cursor is blinking for taking number, integer number from user. Suppose user enters ten and press enter. That number, first number, is saved in some variable. For example, a. We have to save this value in variable a. Next, again cursor is blinking for taking second value from the user. And this value, suppose user enters 20 and press enter. This second value we have to store in another variable called as b variable. Okay. After that, we perform we write the code to calculate which one is the largest one. And if first one is largest one, then message is. First is large or a number is max. Otherwise, suppose second number is max, then message is b is max because we have to store first number in the a variable, second value in the b variable. So which one is max? Second is max. So message is either b is max. Here twenty is max, so message is b is max. And if user enters first number as 30 and then 20 here first number that is first number is a so a is max that is <coughs> predicted output is looks like this so as per the output or user's requirement we can write the code so first first thing is how many number of variables we require so first number integer numbers data type is integer a Second number is b and calculating max. Okay, but here when we use ternary operator, no need to write third variable. Okay, so only we require a and b two local variables. After that, CLR, SCR, clear screen. Okay, after that, next thing. Suppose clear screen. After that. Print F. So print F. What is the message on the console? That is enter two numbers slash n for the next line. Cursor goes to 
to the next line. After that, write scan a percentage is first formatting type for first number, then space percentage is for second number. So in the same scan statement, we can scan two numbers at a time. No need to write scan f two statements. In single statement, we can scan two integer values from the user. Second, third, then after that comma, then write the name of the variable where we want to store that value. When user enters value on the console, that value is stored in which variable? First is the address of a. So write address of a in the first variable. Then use the comma. Then second value. When user enters second value, then this value is stored in the second variable that is ampersand of. Okay. So here we can enter two values, and these two values are stored into respective a and b variables. Okay. We know that a and b are the two variables in our program. For that, memory management is done. Which type of memory management? Static memory management, and that is done by your compiler at the time of compilation itself. So, in the main, on the memory, suppose this is your memory, primary memory, called as random access memory RAM. Okay, your whole source code. This is the whole source code saved by .c file, max .c. This file is saved on RAM code partition. After that. Second partition is static or global partition. Third partition is heap partition, and last partition is stack partition. So local variables, and we are the local variables at all. So these variables are stored on the stack partition A and B. Here for A and B, two bytes are reserved. Okay, because these are integer type, and for integer, two bytes are reserved by the compiler on the stack part. Clear. Next thing. After that, when user enters the value 30, this 30 is saved at the address of A. Suppose second, 20, and this 20 is saved at the address of B on the stack stack part. Clear. Till that. Okay. After that, now the main part. That is use of ternary operator. So how ternary operator works? First is the question. Clear? Suppose a greater than b. This is the question. Okay. So give question. A greater than b. If a greater than b, this condition is true. If the condition is true. Then first part is evaluated. First part is evaluated means before colon. That is, this is reserved for truth value. And after colon, that is reserved for false value. If the truth value or a greater than b, if it is false, then which is evaluated? Second part, after colon. And if it is true, then which one is evaluated? First part, before colon. Understood? So what is the syntax? First is what we need the question that truth value that is true or false. If it is true, the condition is true. First part is evaluated, and if it is false, second part is evaluated. Clear? So if a is greater than b, this is true. Means a is greater. A is greater than b. This is true. What is the truth value of this statement? If it is true, then we can call it a is greater. Okay, and if a greater than b, this is this is the question, and if it's truth value, truth value means true or false. Okay, this is the statement, interrogative statement, question mark. Okay, if its truth value is false, then which is evaluated b? Means if a greater than b, this is my question. If the answer is correct, true, that a is greater, then which is a is max, and if This is false. Means b is max, and we can assign this value using equal to statement to the suppose max. Okay, here what max indicates? Max 
either if a is greater then it is assigned to max if b is greater then it is assigned to max okay but what is our output expected output we want a is max as a message or b is max as a message clear so if we assign this a or b is value to max we don't know after that which is actually max so instead of that we cannot write max is equal to so instead of that we want here printf statement okay if this condition is true if this condition is true means printf which one is max a is Double quotes complete. Don't use semicolon. After that, use colon. So this is a ternary operator. This is first operand. This is second operand. And after colon, this is third operand. So this ternary operand performs operation on three operands. So it is called as ternary operator. Okay. After that, printf b is semicolon. After that. Whole statement completed. After that, use semicolon. Clear. Next statement is get C H and may complete. Okay. So this is the working principle of ternary operator. Means if the question's value is true, then first statement is evaluated. That is printf A is max. If its truth value is false, means B is max. Then second after colon's value is evaluated that is b is max here 30 and 20 first is 30 and after that 20 is there so a is max so which one is evaluated a is max if user enters 10 and after that 20 is entered means which one is evaluated b is max so output is b is max understood this is the working principle of ternary operator. Okay, so there is another one question is there to implement the proxy program to find odd and even number. Same question. Okay, but find largest number instead of that question is find implement C program to find odd or even number using ternary operator. So, take one number from user, only one number, and find whether that number is odd or even. So, whatever may be the changes, we can do here. Okay. So, second problem statement is, implement C program to find odd or even number using ternary operator. Okay. So, what are the changes or how it works? First, output screen. Enter any number. This is first message. After that, user enters some number. Suppose 10 and press enter. So what is the 10? 10 is even or odd? Even number. So message is number is even. This is the message. This is output screen. So as per output screen, we have to write the code. So only one number is required. Suppose integer number. This is first number. Then clear screen. Enter message is enter any number. This is message. After that scan only one number percentage comma in which variable number. You know. So address of number. Clear. After that what we want to check whether it is even or odd. Okay. So, when number is even, if it is divisible by 2, means, means, reminder is 0, reminder is 0. So, check whether number mod of 2, here, modulus operator, this is percentage sign, this is called as modulus operator. And what modulus operator gives you? Modulus operator gives you reminder. What modulus operator gives you? Reminder. Means what? If number is 10 mod 2, means 10 divided by 2. First divide 10 by 2. And what is the reminder? 0. 0 is the reminder. So this operator returns 0. 
and we want to store into any other number clear so first check whether number mod of 2 is equal to equal to 0 means this condition is true that means if number is 10 mod of 2 what it returns 0 here and 0 is equal to equal to 0 so again condition is true so if condition is true then number is given and if condition is false then if number is odd understood so here number mod of 2 for example if user enters 11 so what happens here number is 11 so 11 mod of 2 what it gives reminder as a 1 what modulus operator gives reminder as a 1 so 1 is equal to equal to 0 condition false if condition is false then second statement is executed after colon that is number is odd what is the message number is odd clear and this ternary operator is a shorthand notation for if else statement okay uh, in next chapter we have seen we will see if else this is a selection statement or it is also called as control statement so it is a control statement instead of this statement we have to write ternary operator so in only one line we can write the code so it is a shorthand notation for if else statement understood this is called as ternary operators I mean what is the general syntax first is your condition whatever may be the condition right condition and you question mark if condition truth value is true then true that means this part is executed and if condition truth value is false Okay, then second part is executed, and you semicolon at the end of the statement. Understood? So it is a shorthand notation for if else also. Okay, so today we will stop here.